Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about cosmic background radiation yet again and discover if it's actually possible to use this radiation to basically power things on Earth. So in other words, can we actually use it for energy? Welcome to What The Math. So in the previous video, what I actually talked about was the uh, cosmic background radiation that you can kind of see on this picture right here. This is the map of the cosmic background radiation and pretty much everything on this map represents uh, what you would see in um, radio wave and microwave light. And what you see on this map is what you would actually uh, technically see if you were to look into the night sky and basically look into uh, the emptiness of space, the darkness of space. So instead of seeing darkness, you would actually see different types of uh, low frequencies um, all together giving the space itself uh, approximate temperature of 2.7 degrees Kelvin. In other words, space is not really that empty. There's actually energy pretty much everywhere in space. Now, because uh, there is so much energy right here, and because this radiation is coming from pretty much every direction and hitting Earth from everywhere, um, one of the questions that often asked is, well, could you potentially use this energy to power planet Earth? So in other words, could we actually somehow create energy from all of this background radiation that's coming and hitting planet Earth? So let's uh, just discover that using a few uh, formula that I'm going to show you. We're not going to do the actual math, but I'm going to show you how you can possibly do it yourself. And to start, we actually have to use this law right here called uh, Stefan Boltzmann law. Uh, the only formula we need from it is this. E equals to omega t to the power of 4. Now, t is temperature. And omega here is a constant that has this value right here. Uh, basically, what we do is we take the constant, plug it in here. T becomes 2.7 Kelvin, which is the temperature of background radiation. And what we get is E, which is the total radiant heat energy emitted from a surface. So in other words, what we can actually do is discover how much energy we're, we're getting per square meter uh, for this particular temperature. If you actually plug in these values, what you're going to get is this value right here, which is approximately uh, three microwatts. In other words, it's three divided by a million watts. And this is per square meter. So in other words, if you were to take a look at a square meter of Earth, Earth surface, and to then basically take a look at the amount of energy you're getting from the background radiation that's coming from everywhere in space here, um, you would get approximately three microwatt of energy. Or in other words, three divided by a million watt. Now, in contrast, if you were to take a look at our beautiful sun that you see right here, um, the amount of energy that you get from the sun on Earth is about 1,370 watts per meter square. In other words, the actual difference between these two values is something like a billion times less. So you get a billion times less energy from the uh, background radiation as opposed to the sun. Now, if you were to take the energy of the entire Earth, in other words, so if, if you were to get this background radiation from the entire surface of Earth, because technically the entire surface is getting hit by it, the actual value you'd get is uh, just over one gigawatt of energy. And that's actually equivalent to like a small nuclear plant or maybe like a large um, hydro plant. So you do get some energy from this background radiation, but here is a problem. And this is actually when it, uh, when it really gets a little bit more into physics. The energy you get is really high in entropy and it's uh, not particularly useful. And this is actually for one simple reason. So right now our Earth is getting a lot of radiation coming from the uh, beautiful sun, which is right there in the back. Um, and this type of energy that's coming into our planet is actually really low in entropy and high in order. In other words, you're getting um, the, let's say, one photon of energy that leaves the sun with the energy of about 6,000 uh, Kelvin, uh, which is the temperature of a photon coming from the sun, hits Earth, 
and transfers this energy and then this energy actually um, becomes more disorderly. It gains entropy and releases back into space from Earth as 20 photons, approximately 20 photons, with the energy of about 300 Kelvin. And this is why Earth actually has this glow of um, heat coming off uh, from the surface. So in other words, the, there's a bit of an energy transfer from high order to low order and in essence, the extra disorder or the entropy itself is dumped from Earth while maintaining order on Earth, which really what kind of allows Earth to have life and us. However, if you have a system that is uh, technically using the background radiation for energy, it would not work because you have energy coming in and there's nowhere to dump it and to create uh, more disorder because the actual background radiation is the most disorderly energy you can kind of get. And so all of this background radiation energy that uh, essentially comes to Earth stays here and has no sink to be uh, deposited into. There's no way for us to make it even more disorderly and so it has no actual use. In other words, even though technically you could get 1.5 gigawatt of energy from the background radiation, in practice it's going to be impossible because there's no way for us to redistribute this energy and make it more disorderly. So. That's kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video. And hopefully now you know a little bit more about cosmic background radiation and the actual idea behind it, how much energy it could potentially uh, bring to Earth and if it's possible to actually power Earth. And in short, the answer is, well, no. But if you watched one of the previous videos, uh, you may actually know that there is a situation where you could potentially use uh, the energy, the background radiation, uh, to power objects like Earth if those objects move close to speed of light. Now, check out this video if you want to learn more because uh, this gets a little bit more science fiction-y but also uses real science to um, really present a point similar to the uh, Miller's planet from Interstellar where you could move a planet fast enough that it actually starts receiving radiation and heat from the background radiation. And anyway, in this video, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. And leave a comment below if you have any other things you would like to know about the cosmic radiation or if you actually want me to talk about uh, some other concept that you never really understood. Anyway, thank you for watching, space out, and as always, bye-bye.